What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 19 uh, tactics video on the channel. Best tactics, best player instructions and today we've got the 4-4-2, a classic formation in FIFA 19 before we get started. Guys, make sure to smash the like button if you are enjoying these type of videos on the channel. Um, the videos in which me and Mike present you the best, the most overpowered, the most effective formations in the game. If you do not know if you're new to the series, I do it together with uh, Mike, his link uh, to the video will be in the description below. He does the team review, the pros, the cons for each team in the game. I do the best custom tactics and the best player instructions. Um, shortly guys, the 4-4-2 is a good formation as long as these two players here. The two central midfielders are box to box and they can both defend and attack without this. It will be difficult. Don't think that you need to have Ruth Hulit and Golokante here necessarily. Uh, you can do it also with players like uh, uh, Nangolan. Fabinho is decent, he's not bad. Kongdumbia, okay. Uh, decent pace and decent shooting abilities. So, fellas, let's get into the custom tactics and let's see the balanced option. The way you should start the game with the 4-4-2. Defensive style, balanced. It's my favorite. Team width will be on 5. Depth will be on 5. Offensive style, balanced. Width here will be on 6. Players in the box at 6. Corner kicks at 3. And free kicks at 3. Uh, instructions, guys. Uh, for the fullbacks, almost always I select stay back while attacking. Because else they will almost all the time overlap. Uh, leaving you with two center backs defending a counter attack, which is not okay in FIFA 19. Uh, still, if you've got them on stay back while attacking, they will still be supporting from time to time your attack. You can manually, uh, when you have the ball at a full back, uh, go and support the attack and build the attacks with one of your full backs. Now, uh, N'Golo Kante here because he's my more defensively oriented player will have stay back while attacking and the rest of my players will be on balanced so this was the balanced um, option in game plans let's move now to the attacking one defensive style press after possession loss we will be a bit more aggressive because we're using this formation when we want to come back in the game when the opponent has one two uh, nil. It's not towards the end of the game when we want to go all in. It's uh, in the first half uh, or until minute 60 65. So press after possession loss in defensive style. Team width will be on 5. Depth will be on uh, 5. Offensive style balanced. Team width in offense will be on 7 6 7. We want to open the opponent on the wing. Uh, because most likely after he goes one two goals in um, advantage he will go for a more defensive formation and usually the defensive formations are a bit more narrower so you will have the upper hand guys with a bigger option with a uh, larger value here at team with an offensive style players in the box will be at six corner kicks at three and free kicks will be at three let's see now what changes also in instructions again stay back while attacking for your fullbacks else you will be only defending with two center backs and it's not the moment in the game to do that that now what will change and also i forgot to tell you guys something my bad in the balanced game plan also at player instructions make sure to have for your central midfielders cover center not cover wing okay getting back to the offensive style uh kante hulit will have cover center and now we will not have a kante on stay back while attacking he will be on balanced so we will be able to also attack a bit more with our midfielders all the other players i just leave them on balance guys let's move now to the ultra attacking option in our game plans this is the one that you will be selecting towards the end of the game when you wanna when you've got nothing to lose and to be honest guys even though um, a lot of people pros 
And even me, sometimes I thought that the 3 4 to one is the best formation to come back in the game. Uh, I've had better results with 4 4 2 So if it were me, I would go with a 4 4 2 as a game plan for the ultra attacking, even though usually I play 4 triple 2 or 4 2 3 1 or maybe 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. The 4 4 2 is at this moment my formation, my game plan for ultra attacking. Defensive style, constant pressure, it's a must. Team with here on 5, team death will be on 7 8. 7 8. Offensive style, fast, build up, or balanced, guys. That's my option. Balanced or fast build up. Team with the, uh, in attack will be on six players in the box on seven. And the uh, corner kicks and free kicks will be on four. It's a bit too risky to have everyone. <clears throat> and no player for the second ball. At least that's how I do it, guys. Um, I don't like, you know, if the opponent has one goal advantage minute 90 and there are two extra minutes two minutes of extra time i get a corner kick or a free kick uh, it is most likely if i don't score that one and the opponent goes on a counter attack and i get the ball back i have one more chance but if i go at corner kicks with five out of five here then if my opponent goes on a counter attack there is no way i can defend that i've got no one absolutely no one for the second ball for uh, support in defense so that is why corner kicks free kicks on four okay fellas so that was our ultra attacking option but i forgot to tell you about the instructions i'm such a noob sometimes yes this is the moment when you go balanced with the fullbacks uh, you're balanced also with your central midfielders, but you've got cover wing for both of them. Now, guys, stay forward for the right midfielder. Stay forward for the two strikers and stay forward for the left midfielder. That's what changes and it's very important to combine the instructions with the tactics because they tend to work best when they are combined correctly. Moving now to the defensive tactic for the 4-4-2. Defensive style, balanced, team width will be on 5, team depth will be on 4, offense, offensive style, balanced, uh, team width here. You wanna be careful and not spread your players too much on the pitch. Uh, when you want to hold on to a 1-2 goals advantage starting minute 40, minute 50. Players in the box 5, corner kicks 3, 3 kicks on 3. Guys, instructions here. Stay back, we move now. And we have stay back for the uh, fullbacks. And uh, stay back now for both of our central midfielders combined with cover center. I don't know why it didn't save here. Cover center for Kante. Yeah, you, you play cover wing when you've got your fullbacks on joint the attack or on balanced and you play cover center when you've got your fullbacks on stay back while attacking. Uh, now the other players in attack do not change anything at player instructions but we will in ultra defensive. Ultra defensive is a game plan for the last minutes of the game when you want to close down a result you're defending desperately. You want all your players to help you with that. So defensive style balanced here. A drawback is a bit too much. Drawback is too much. And you get open for the long time, uh, long shots with the time finesse. Uh, team width will be on five. Death will be on three. Offensive style balanced or possession. Balanced or possession because he will pressure you a lot. And with uh, possession you will have a lot of options to play towards your teammates or if you've got if you've got a tall striker up front you can go long ball if you've got Lukaku if you've got Ronaldo if you've got players that can win headers but usually go with balance here team with uh, should be in attack at four players in the box at four corner kicks at two and free kicks at two guys now combine this with player instructions stay back while attacking for the two fullbacks Ruth Hulit and Gol Kante will have Cover center, why doesn't it save? Come on. Cover center and stay back while attacking. And now, 
right midfielder come back on defense striker come back on defense another striker come back on defense left midfielder come back on defense and you will be defending with 10 players guys so first these were the best custom tactics and best player instructions for the 442 at least the tactics and instructions that work for me leave a comment below and let me and mike know which formation should we do next make sure to check mike's video uh, about the review of this formation link will be in the description below my name is ovi and i'll see you guys later I'm not a